Our observers often bring us stories that you don't find anywhere else, like Basirato Kindo, who keeps us posted on what life is like for women and men in Burkina Faso. I love talking about issues that are important to women. Like when I saw men who were making dumplings and grinding manioc. It blew me away because that's normally women's work. It's rare to see that in Burkina, so I decided to talk about it. There's no need to say, all oh, that work is for women, that work is for men. The first piece I did for the observers was about fake buttocks. I was in the market one day and I saw underwear that was padded to make the butt look bigger. I wanted to know why. The storekeeper said many women love the underwear. I spoke to some women who had bought it. They said they wear it just for special occasions. They said you need to have a curvy body to look good in traditional clothes. Like many of our observers, Basiratu has at times found herself at the heart of history as it is being made. Like when the people of Burkina Faso toppled President Blaise Compaore in a popular uprising two years ago. In 2014, everyone was focused on what was happening in Ouagadougou, the capital. But things were happening where I was, too, in the second biggest city, Bobo Diolasso. People were out in the streets. There was a statue of the president. During the demonstrations, it was toppled. I wanted to talk about it to show that things were happening everywhere, not just in Ouagadougou. When I go abroad now and tell people my name, they say, oh yes, I've seen your articles on the observers. It makes me really proud.